this is Thomas J. Yagodinsky, and in this video we're going to take a quick look at the behind the scenes for the making of the stop motion animated music video Bedazzled Fingernails by the band Mastodon. Mimi! The idea for the video came to me while I was watching a documentary about Mastodon and realized that I wanted to see the creature from the Black Lagoon, Bosk, and Eddie from Iron Maiden, Rocco. The only character that eluded me was for bassist Troy Sanders, so I went with the wizard. I started with building the puppets. The creature and Bosk toys were easy enough to get my hands on, and then it was just a matter of modifying them so that they could be animatable puppets that would hold positions. Uh, Bosk's head fell off like a thousand times from all the bang in his head. But hey, last time I checked, Mastodon is a metal band. And metal bands bang their heads. Custom building my own Eddie puppet was extra awesome because I was one of those kids in school that had scrawled pictures of him on every single notebook. For you geeks like me, this is a cross between the Live After Death and Peace of Mind Eddie. Here I'm rigging up the creature's head and gills and fingers so that they can be fitted with armature wire and be animated. Ooh, there's my hot glue gun that I love so much. Uh, I use hot glue for a ton of different things. I use it for sculpting and for creating textures. Um, I love the way it smells, and sometimes I just like to let it drip on my genitals. Ah, I'm kidding. Once the puppets are all armature wired up and costumed up, I just give them a good, give these dudes a good paint job and they are ready to rock. I was especially excited to build the drum set. Since I spent probably about half of my life playing the drums, it was rad to build a drum set at this scale. I used bronze Randy Rhodes kit as my model. And yes, I did build this drum set out of empty Pabst Blue Ribbon boxes and other kinds of junk, and what most people would presume to be garbage. The amps were made with discarded TV speakers and cardboard, and I used drywall and hobby sticks to make the guitars. Time to build the set. Much in the way that I build anything, I'll look at the thing and figure out what function it performs and what what I need out of it as a prop or a set or a puppet. And then I take notes and I organize everything down to the last T and then I just start building it without thinking about it and just letting that, that beautiful creative process just happen. Because my favorite part of all this is, is the creating part and just letting ideas flow through you and not knowing where they come from, but just letting things make themselves. Hey, hey, it's Schwaka time. The Schwakas are the little creatures that come out halfway through the video when they hear the band playing and then ultimately go on to rock out with the band. And in that same spirit of just creating things without being too locked down to any one idea, I made each one individually so that they would all look slightly different but share the same characteristics. I ended up making 38 of them. There's, there's male ones, there's female ones, there's little kid ones. And uh, while some people might think there's an obvious uh, reference to other certain cute creatures, my main inspiration for these guys was uh, the Devon Rex cat, which is a very odd, peculiar, and charismatic critter. And there you got them, schwakas. And let the animating begin. Now I assume that everybody knows the process of stop motion animation, but for those of you who don't, real quick, you move your puppet, you take a picture. You move your puppet, you take a picture, and so on and so forth. 24 pictures equals one second of footage. Along with the puppets, you may be playing with the lights and moving the camera, but it never ceases to amaze me that you can string these pictures together and literally watch your art come to life. Speaking of moving the camera, hello Dolly! I used two dollies in the making of this video. The first one is a good old fashioned train track dolly where the camera can slide you know, back and forth. And then my second dolly is a dolly I built myself that utilizes a closet track. And uh, this one is uh, much more versatile. It can travel over and through things and has a really nice smooth glide. As you can see right here, smooth. Alrighty then guys and gals, that's about it for this time around. I'll be back in the hopefully near future with another project. As you can probably tell, these things don't get made overnight, but I'm going to keep making them, probably for the rest of my life. I hope you enjoyed the videos, and until next time, this is Thomas J. Yagodinsky signing out. Bye bye